What's going on everybody? Jack Aston here with another episode of Let's Ride and today we are competing in the VW Dub Club Volkswagen event and as you can see you have to be competing in a B-Class or below. Gonna go ahead and upgrade the C-Class 1995 Corrado VR6 and we are racing with no assists on medium AI here at the Redfoot Dirt Cross, a mixed surface track. Four laps back here in P7 to start looking at the back of Dan Park and let's go. Pretty good start off the line already up into second gear now competing with Alan Brewer and we are wheel to wheel coming down to the first corner, a very sharp left handed corner, slight contact there with Brewer, drop it down into first gear, swinging around up in the second, and kind of an S sweep here, almost hitting the barrier there, and avoiding contact, still looking at the back of uh, Dan Park, trying to get around him, and there goes Brewer, able to overtake and relegate me back to eighth, coming up over this uh, jump here, and a little bit of uh, engine rev as I bounced a little bit there, that was a pretty fun jump, coming around here flat out, and a very, very deceiving slowdown turn there. Able to drop it down and uh, get back online. Now trying to get around Brewer. We are trading paint coming down here. Another small jump. And running out of room here on the right-hand side. Going to cut on the inside. Dropping it down into second gear. Narrowly avoiding the signs there. But able to get up into P6. Now setting our sights on Don Funk up ahead in the green car. Here at the end of the first lap. And looks like uh, Gabe Frost is currently leading the field. Don't forget our rival is involved in this race, and he's not leading at the moment. More about him later. Let's see if we can uh, get around Funk here around the uh, inside, narrowly avoiding the barrier there again. Very close calls there. Should be able to get around Funk. Contact there, almost at the barrier, but able to get in front of him, and now staring at the back of Cool. Up over the jump, letting off on the revs, and that bounce gets me every time. Would really like to get up into uh, P4 before the start of lap three. That'll give me a couple of laps to work my way through the uh, podium positions and hopefully win this race. So still trying to chase down Cool and uh, close the gap. Gonna have to take a look up here at the hairpin. Had some uh, success here earlier, although I did make contact before and trade a little bit of paint with Cool there, but able to get around, almost hitting the barrier and drifting around back up into third gear as we come around the uh, start finish line. And now competing with Bankov and P3. And as you can see, Gabe Frost still leading the race and drifting around here, that very sharp turn one and now around turn two. And our favorite barrier finally making contact there, slight contact, didn't really slow me down too much, but a very bad angle there. And that will slow me down, costing me precious seconds, having to readjust and get back online, not even bothering to uh, lay off the revs on the jump that time. And uh, hoping that I can make up for that mistake, even though it was slight, you never know. But looks like able to gain up on the field right now. And there's our aforementioned rival, uh, Marco Baran, running P2 right now. And going to try and get around Bankov at the very wide drifting uh, hairpin here. And avoid contact with him drifting a little bit wider than I'd prefer. And now there's contact with Bankov and uh, he hits the back of me, almost colliding with the barrier there, trying to get my angle right to get as much speed coming through here as possible. And here at the start of the final lap, riding in P3, only going to have one lap to get this done. Now making a move on the inside of Frost. But look, going to run out of track. Now looking on the outside, trying to stick with him. Now wheel to wheel. Should be able to get around him here. And very tight window there, but able to make the overtake stick. And now just competing with Baron for the uh, final spot. So it looks like we've got a handful of corners to go. And really you want to have at least two or three shots at the leader if you want to have a chance to win. Drifting through there and gaining a lot of steam on Baran through there. He's very slow. So now we're going to have to share this wide part of the track. Slight collision there, but now he is behind me. And as long as I don't blow things grievously here at this corner, and I do drift a little too wide, have to drop into first gear, almost come to a complete stop, and there's Brand on the inside pinching him out. And that was a little bit cheap, but basically not going to give him uh, any opportunity to get around me, to steal this from me at the last second, able to finish in first place. And taking a quick look at the race results, you may have noticed that I've been posting some other Forza Horizon gameplay videos without commentary, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I just don't have time to do commentary for all these videos, but uh, if I come across one where it's a particularly exciting race, like I thought this one was pretty fun, then I'll probably add commentary since that is the preference of most people. So gonna leave you guys here with some race highlights. Wanna thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for a number of other Forza Horizon F1 2012 and Forza 4 videos, including a number with commentary, and I'll see you at the next one.